Hi guys, Chris from Kid Music. How are you guys doing? Thank you for watching this video. This is the first time I'm doing that type of videos and hopefully the last time. I wanted to do that video about a couple of weeks ago uh, when I started to see uh, like new YouTubers uh, coming on YouTube and kind of using the Rob Chapman uh, situation uh, to get to gain more followers and kind of using negativity to build a following and I thought that it wasn't cool uh, in the guitar community and I think it's a shame that it, it just it has become something like this I mean like this situation build that negativity uh, I'm not affiliated with Rob Chapman or Chapman guitars I play mainly with BC Rich and Jackson guitars so I just wanted to do that video about a couple of weeks ago and I just uh, I just dropped it because it's just not the type of content that I want to do uh, but there's this new video he made that Rob Chapman made back a couple of days ago uh, I think it's called statement or something like this, which is basically uh, he's apologizing uh, to to everyone, and uh, like if we like if he would have to apologize personally, I was not waiting for an apology because I couldn't care less about this whole thing. I don't feel offended by any means about anything that has happened. It's not like I bought a Chapman guitars for 600 euros and the quality is more like 50 euros. Then I would feel like you know, uh, cheated and then I would be very happy to put some negative comments on YouTube. But it's not the case, it feels more like private business things and uh, I could never understand this whole uh, bashing on, on, the, on one person. And I think that, it's, I don't feel that Rob Chapman never cared about the situation that it, it took him so long to do an apology, an apology video. Uh, I think it took a serious hit uh, for this past couple of months and I don't know if it has affected the business or not but uh, but anyway all I wanted to say um, is, to, is that I hope that that video he just made and apparently that's what people wanted to hear because it's quite uh, popular in a way that it's uh, positive comments and, and thumbs up on this video so I guess people are happy about it and uh, hopefully he can come back to what he does best, which is music and gear reviews, and hopefully the guitar community, uh, hopefully we can put this to rest and just uh, come back to just uh, better content than just creating a YouTube channel to bring negativity and just keep on coming with statements like, um, what did I hear last day today? Today, this, this uh, YouTuber, uh, he's got maybe 300 subscribers, uh, saying that the apology comes too late, and it's, I just don't get it. Like, like if Rob Chapman had to do an apology personally to some people, I mean, did you feel offended by, by anything that he said or whatnot? Like, I just, I don't know. Me personally, uh, I just, it's, it's not the type of videos that I want to do, and I'm doing that video because I just wanted to address um, two things. First, that it's sad that the guitar community, people that have even a recording studio, plenty of guitars behind them, have. To feel like they have to do such a negative video about somebody and the second thing uh, hopefully uh, we can put this to rest and uh, keep on enjoying uh, videos that Rob Chapman uh, used to do it's been a while I haven't seen a video uh, with him and the captain from Andertons I always enjoy the videos the guitar reviews and uh, the gear overall gear reviews and uh, hopefully we just can come back to this and put this negativity uh, behind and uh, from the guitar community that's what I wanted to say today. So just let me know in the comment section below uh, what you feel about the situation. If you feel like it, you don't need to comment on anything uh, because the whole idea is really to move on and just uh, just drop that whole thing, really. Uh, anyway, that's supposed to be just a short video. So you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Chris from Enjoy Music, signing out. Cheers.